Pre-gaming really depends on who you fuck with, to be honest, because everybody ain't about to come to my motherfucking house and just pre-game. I'm a bartender, and people come to the bar complaining about prices. I'm like, why the fuck didn't you pre-game? All these hoes in here, niggas want to stare niggas down, man. But that's why pre-game is important, because I don't want to be in this hostile environment unless I'm drunk enough to be like, you know what, I'm cool. This is, this is all right. When you go out, then you around associates, you around everybody, but you gotta be around your close friends so you're comfortable, you can get with. So the pregame is where you decide what liquor you sticking with for the night. That's where you decide who are your friends for the night. Mm -hmm. And that's where you get to do like your final fit check before everything is final. If I don't fuck with you, I don't really want to pregame with you because you just gonna blow my high. It ain't really no pregame. You just go right away. Like if I get off work at four, 5.30, I done went home, took a shower, threw some clothes on, we drinking. We on a boat. That's my idea of a pregame. It's bottles of Tito's and 1942 because I like, you know, life is about balance. It's always that one nigga who don't bring nothing. He come in there, he like, oh yeah, nigga, we about to get fucked up tonight. It's like, hold on, hold on, who cuz? It's essential. Like if the vibes ain't there wherever you going, you gonna be straight off the pregame. Who's invited? Of course my homegirls, maybe a couple of dudes, little yes, little sneaky links, you know? Don't get too fucked up but just, you know, set the tone. Honestly, I don't really pregame because I take forever to get ready. And, or with pregaming, it's kind of tough because if you pregame too much, you are gonna miss the whole function. This is actually very important. And I feel like a lot of people don't do this shit right, right here. The location is hella important. It gotta be big enough for everybody. It gotta be comfortable. Niggas' cars cannot be getting broken to outside of the crib. That's, you know, that's not a good spot. We really want to be already there before we get there. We're not trying to be there like and they have to get there. It's pre game for me, I don't drink, uh, smoke, nothing, but I am always in the mix. I always, I'm at every event, you know, before the party, after the party, whatever. But I don't really pregame. game um, I'm the nigga that makes sure everything's in order. Uh, I'm the nigga that makes sure we got you. I'm not a store runner, incorrect. Um, but I do make sure we got everything, everything's in order as far as rides go. Um, you know, make sure we know it's going on prior to us leaving, you know, all of the stuff in between, so. I'm not 21 no more. I can't just eat a bag of hot chips and be out in the streets. I need a full meal before I go out and at home because I gotta be comfortable. We're all just having a fabulous time. Um, we're waiting to go to wherever we're going for the night, but during the day, we on that boat and it's all vibes. We're all day. No, I said, I, I mean, maybe it started like three. Ooh, that pregame, yeah, that pregame started about at three. And it's just something thrilling about like open bottle and then like so we, you know, and then you like, I'm out here in Miami, but you not in Miami, but it feel like it. Um, I feel like you need baby oil, you know what I'm saying? That's the thing now. The way, the reason you need baby oil is because, you know what I'm saying? You gotta flick up before <laughs> you gotta flick up before you go out. Me and my sisters, like we have a thing where we don't pull up dry. So we pregame before my auntie house, before my mama house. It don't have to be no club. Like we will gather and be like, hey, we need to have a little one too before we go over there. My idea of pregaming is to kill her outside the club in the car. You want me to pregame with you, we gonna do it in the car. We gonna pull up to the bar. We're gonna pop a bottle of it. We're gonna smoke a couple woods in the parking lot and then we're gonna go. My ideal pregame has changed so much. So now I like to pregame by myself. I'm at home, I'm listening to some R&B, some Neo Soul. I really like give myself some good energy. I ain't gonna lie, man, my pregame is super simple. Uh, be where Corey told me to be, I'm there. Uh, I'm drinking whatever is on the table. I don't give a fuck what it is. I'm drinking it for the whole night. You gotta have enough drivers. Like you gotta call blacks or it gotta be, you know, a few niggas with some big whips and it could be five people to a car and y'all only pull up in three cars. First, everybody pull up independently. Now, this way, the nigga who got the section, he pulling up, he looking kind of sweet because he pulling up 15 beats versus one by one, you sitting there, you like, damn, such a side. Now you gotta wait on the awkwardness to disappear. So, you know, um, I've been to a pregame that has been better than the main event to where it was to the point where we didn't even go out that night. We just pregamed and it turned into a kickback. The pregames always was really the party for real. It's been even, I ain't even make it to a couple parties off the pregame. So I went to college. Every every party, the pregame was always better than the event. Damn near didn't make it to no event because of the pregame. I love a pregame that's better than the actual event because then I have a fabulous excuse to not go to the actual event. Once you pull out the Carisha, please, or you pull out the, uh, what is it, the black and white card? What is it called? Do or drink. When you yeah, pull out the yeah, do or yeah. drink, 
you're gonna be drinking and you might not make it out. Cause sometimes where you going, like it just be too much going on. The actual pregame is always better than the main event. If you with people that you know and that you fuck with already. I think everybody experienced that. You went to, you in there hyping each other up. Like, hey, when we get in the holes, oh yeah, this all, are we gonna be spitting? You go in there and it's like, oh, hell no, we didn't pay 20 to get in this bitch. Because we get to control the music. We get to control how much we drinking and we ain't gotta buy no bottles or no shots at the club. And then nine times out of 10, we acting as crazy as we want to act. We ain't got to put on no fronts for the club. If the vibes are better at the pregame than they are at the actual party, you in business. The pregame was it. I ain't gonna lie, it's better for me every time. I don't even want to go outside. Everybody done got two pregamed up where they couldn't even go out. You might as well just stay where you was at. You like, fuck it. I ain't tripping if we don't go out no more. Yeah, they just saying that because they ain't really, they too fucked up to go out. I'm not going to put Buddy out because <laughs> he's well known in Detroit, but um the pregame was for sure a lot better just because the actual party didn't happen uh he didn't actually put his deposit down for the booth so when we showed up uh we were just kind of standing around but the pregame at his house was 10 out of 10 um until we went to the kitchen and his sponge was this big dried up crusty and um yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. My cutoff point, I'm still trying to figure out what that is. When I get quiet and I be in my head and I'm like, okay, I'm getting ready to be in front of other people because I'm full. Nah, I'm a little tipsy. And I'm like, okay, let me get my little solitude before I be in this loud ass club. Like I said, I'm an old bitch. The clubs be loud. With me, you damn near gotta overdo it because like I said, it's just something about, you know, being in a club with strangers so much going on in there. You got niggas mixing light with dark. You got the, the club mixing broke with rich. It's just so much going on. It's too many energies that's just mixed in. My cutoff point to know that I successfully pregame. I got like a three shot max before we get to the club. Cause I feel like at that point I'm turnt and I'm getting turnt, but I'm not to the point where I'm walking in the club sloppy drunk. When you go in that bathroom and you look in that mirror and you be like, yeah. <laughs> about time to step out. When I start getting hyped up, I'm ready to go, let's go. I'm tapping niggas, y'all ready? I'm, I'm pushing shit, like, let's go. Once I start stuttering, I'm like, okay, we need to sober up before we get there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know how you go to the bathroom and you had a conversation with yourself in the mirror. When you get to that point and you in the mirror and you just like, I'm fucked up. And you just, your eyes just going, I feel like when you get to that level, when you get to the level, I feel like, you know, it's time to go, you need to cool it. You need to get you a bottle of water, sit down for a minute, catch your breath. You know what I'm saying? Get you some gum, go get some mouthwash, refresh yourself. That's a cheat code. You know, if you really fucked up, get some mouthwash, it really kind of reset you. People don't know that, but that's the thing. But when you get to that point, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's, it's, it's really time to go. You should only be taking like three shots. If you, you know, if you plan on drinking the whole night, you don't want to be too fucked up where it's like, you get to the club and you can't even go in. Once I see cocaine, I stop pregame. Anytime I get like a rush of heat, I, I mean like, if I ask you like, y'all turn the heat on in this bitch, that means it's time for me to stop pre-gaming. Right then and there. If we got a certain time that we need to be somewhere, that clock is gonna tell us the limit. Like we don't need to, all right, pack it up, take some shots in the car, we gotta go. Like, that we leave at this time or we ain't going nowhere. We might as well turn up here. When I look around and all my friends are just loud as shit. When we all loud, we all talking around each other, it's time to go to the event because if we stay here, we gonna get too fucked up and we not gonna make it. When you know, okay, look, I'm starting to feel it. Just chill the fuck out. That's so you can come outside because you don't want to come outside and be sloppy and then your friends stuck babysitting you. You know, you get these little kisses all over your body and you kind of feel warm inside. It's, a, it's slightly different than a buzz. A buzz, you might feel like, like you, you know, like in a waterbed type of thing, a good little bit. But when you get them little kisses off your body and you feel sweet, like the nice little breeze, that's, that's that sweet spot. Just get yourself a cool buzz. That's really what pre-gaming is really for. Because if you torch yourself before you get to the club, you're fucked. You feel me? The code on pre-gaming is don't get too drunk. But have fun, turn up. It's the main, it's the one time when you can be yourself before you gotta go outside and act right. The code on pre-gaming is to make sure you got the liquor you wanna drink, make sure you got a little weed if you smoke, and make sure you with your girls. The code is 
get drunk immediately. Like, don't fucking be like, all right, I'm gonna take it easy. And then when I get to the club, we gonna go crazy. No, you go crazy immediately. If you're gonna pregame, you need to make sure that you don't overdo it and you don't miss the function. The code on pregaming is just don't do too much. Like if you throwing up at the pregame, you stand wherever the fuck you at. Simple as that. Make sure that you already drunk like 50% before you go to the club. Cause then when you get there, boom, all you got is 50% of your social meter to feel. After that, you're good. So that's the code to pregaming. Come with something. Don't come empty handed. If you do, let the host know on this side, hey, I'm fucked up, but I'm still come through with good vibes and everything. The code on pregaming is make it better than the actual event so you can wrap that shit up early and that way you can maintain your exclusivity that way you're not even showing up to everything fuck they party the code on pre-gaming is do that shit in the car before you go to the fucking bar that's why y'all be spending so much money at the bar that's y'all problem if you get drunk as fuck in the parking lot right before you walk in that motherfucker you're good now you're spending fifty dollars instead of $300. The call on pre-gaming is do it fast, do it full. Do it fast, do it full, because anything else, I'm not leaving the house. It's either come solo with a bottle or you come solo with some women. But coming with your mans is not acceptable. I don't care if you came with your mans and you had two bottles. You still can't come, because that's gay. Code on pre-gaming is to drink what you know you about to drink and stick to that the whole night. Get your mind right, get your spirit right, listen to your own tunes that you need to, and then just go have a good time and match everybody's energy.